Keisha Ann Can, written and illustrated by Daniel Kirk. In kindergarten, we will read many fun books together. We will think about our reading, ask questions, and talk about our reading. We will also learn about a lot of different authors and illustrators. An author is the person that writes the story. The author writes the words in a book. The author chooses words that will tell a story and make it interesting for the readers. An illustrator is the person that makes the pictures in a book. The illustrators make sure the pictures help tell the story the author has written. The pictures and words go together. Sometimes the author and illustrator are different people. Sometimes they are the same person. In Keisha Ann Can, Daniel Kirk is the author and illustrator. Now, let's meet the author and illustrator, Daniel Kirk. Daniel Kirk says he grew up with a crayon in his hand. He was always drawing. When he was a little older, he drew the packages for cat food. Later, he started writing too, making books for kids. He lives with his wife and pet rabbit in New Jersey, and he learns something new every day. Keisha Ann Can, written and illustrated by Daniel Kirk. When I look at the cover of Keisha Ann Can, I see a little girl smiling. I am wondering if that is Keisha Ann. When I see the girl smiling, I think she is happy. Now that I think about it, I see a lot of happy children. I am already asking myself, why are these children happy? When I read, I set a purpose. That means I have a reason for reading. Today, I want to enjoy the story. I also want to answer my questions. Who is Keisha Ann? And why are all of the children so happy? Let's read and find out. Keisha Ann Can, written and illustrated by Daniel Kirk. If I ask you a question during our reading, you can use your conversation buddy to talk about your thinking. Keisha Ann Can by Daniel Kirk. Who can catch the school bus for the early morning ride? Who can wait in line until it's time to go inside? Where do you think the children are going? Use your conversation buddy to talk about it. Now let's keep reading to see if we can answer that question. Who can sit in front because she's teacher's biggest fan. Who can stand to say the pledge? Keisha Ann can. Where is Keisha Ann? Tell your conversation buddy where you think she is. Did you say she was at school? If you did, you're right. We know that because she rode a school bus and she's sitting right in front of the teacher. Do you see which one Keisha Ann is? She's the one with the pink shirt and the cute skirt and the puppy dog ears. We know that because she's the one sitting right in front of the teacher and she's right in front of the picture saying her pledge. Let's keep reading. Who knows all the weekdays? Who can read the alphabet? Who can sharpen pencils? Who can feed the classroom pet? Who can count how many days it's been since school began? Who can pass out paint and brushes? Keisha Ann can! Who can paint a picture and sign it with her name? Who can guess what words are missing in a rhyming game? Who wants to make a storybook and comes up with a plan? 
who can share with all her classmates? Keisha Ann can. Who can build a tower of blocks a dozen stories high? And if the blocks fall down, who's going to have another try? Why do you think Keisha Ann didn't get upset when her blocks fell? You can tell your conversation, buddy. Look at all of the friends that are right there to help Keisha Ann. Sometimes when we're upset about something, it helps us feel better when we have friends there to help. Who can make the sandwich that she eats for lunch today? And when she's done and cleaned up, who will go outside and play? Who can take turns jumping rope until recess is done? Who can lie down on her mat and have some rest time fun? Who can play at dress up time with three scarves and a fan? Who can just be who she wants? Keisha Ann can. Who can practice spelling words until she gets them right? Who can ask for what she needs and always be polite? Why do you think it's important to be polite and use good manners? You can tell your conversation, buddy. Good manners and being polite are important because it helps you make friends and it helps you get the things that you need or want. People are much more willing to listen to somebody that's using good manners and being polite. Who can count her coins and count again in case she's wrong? Who can play marimba as she sings the sweetest song? Who can learn and work and play and make her dreams come true? Keisha Ann can do these things and you can do them too. Now let's use our conversation buddies to answer some questions about the story. Who was this book about? If you said Keisha Ann, you're right. Who was Keisha Ann? She is the person in the story that is learning. It's who the story is about. Where did the story happen? Where was Keisha Ann? That's right. She was at school. We know that because she had a teacher, we saw her learning, and she rode a school bus there. Why were Keisha Ann and the other children smiling? Wow, I heard a lot of different ideas. Because she liked school, because she loves learning, because she made new friends, there are so many things to be excited about when you go to school. What is this story mostly about? That's kind of a hard question. This story is mostly about going to school, just like you. I hope you enjoyed reading Keisha Ann Can. Now, let's look at our knowledge map, curious about kindergarten. What will I discover in kindergarten? We will discover that learning is fun by working together and playing together. I look forward to learning more with you.